The last thing we want to do is add a title to our image. Our idea is that this could possibly be used as a cover for a calendar. So I'm going to get my type tool and I've selected Charlemagne as my font and I'm setting it to size 18 right now. And remember on the options bar we can change the color of our text separate from the foreground color. And if you don't have a light blue already you can go ahead and select the sky with your color picker and then we can adjust it. I'm going to go for a darker shade of blue. And then here at the bottom of my image I'm going to type lighthouses and I'm going to get my move tool. Okay now we could do what we did before on our typography workspace. Let me go ahead and change this to typography. We could make different changes in our character panel but instead I wanted to show you that we can actually convert type to a shape. So by clicking on our type menu we can select convert to shape and what this does if you notice on our layers panel the little icon has changed from the type icon to the shape icon. So now we can do anything to this that we would to a shape. Now why would you want to convert text to a shape? If you're sharing this with a colleague or sharing this with a print house and they don't have the font that you have then when they open their document they're going to get an error saying that the font's not available and therefore their image isn't going to look like you intended it because they don't have that font. So being able to convert this to a shape I know the image of the font is going to look exactly the way I intended. Now keep in mind once you convert this to a shape you can no longer change the style of your font. You'd actually have to delete the layer and then retype it. So at this point I could actually get my free transform command by pressing control T or command T and I could resize my text just like I would a shape with the free transform tool. So I'm not constrained to the rules of fonts and font sizes. I can actually just click and drag and resize it just by looking at my document and deciding how I like it compared to the rest of my composition of my image. And what's nice is when it was converted to a shape it's actually a vector shape so I won't get any pixelation with my images. Right now it looks kind of funny because it's selected. So if I were to click on my lighthouse layer you can see the text actually looks really clean and the lines are perfect. We don't, we don't have to worry about when we resize this that anything will become pixelated or jagged because again when we converted this to a shape it is a vector shape. I'm going to go ahead and click on the lighthouses layer again. It's named after the text on that layer and I'm going to add a style to it. I'm going to go ahead and add a stroke. This opens up my layer style dialog box as you recall and we can change the color of the stroke. I think black looks fine. Maybe I'll make it a little bit thicker. And I wanted to show you that there's a feature called bevel and emboss. When I select that feature you'll see we get a whole nother set of menu items here on the right hand side in our layer style dialog box and what Bevel and Emboss does is it contours your letters and gives them a little bit more personality. Now this is another way that you can design your topography or your text to suit your intended audience and set up your image to invoke some sort of feeling or give them some sort of sense of what you're trying to convey. I'm going to click OK to close that and again I can click off of that and you'll get a better sense of what it looks like.